Okay, so a quick checklist of when you're looking for a trail runner would be these things. You want something lightweight, tick. You want something that's grippy with a, maybe a, even a Vibra Mega Grip, tick. You want something that has an amazing lockdown, tick. You want something that's gonna last a long time, tick. You want something that feels good, uh, that's spacious, that wraps around your foot, tick, tick, tick. All these things I can tick for the Ultra, MTT, Ultra King MT2, but for some reason, Ultra have decided to discontinue the shoe. Uh, and I really don't know why, considering all the issues that Ultra have had with their durability and their traction and other issues, the one shoe that they've kind of got it all right with, all the ingredients are there, they're stopping. I don't know why. So I've just completed yet another run, another, yet another really great run on trails in wet, muddy, slippery trails in the Ultra King MT2. Currently here, down on my feet. And it just, you know, just got me thinking that, hang on a second, why on earth are Ultra basically kind of getting rid of one of their, at least on paper, you know, one of their best trail runners? You know, the Vibra Mega Grip, the lightweight feel of it, the wraparound, the great lockdown, the traction, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a winner. Um, and if, the, if the, some people might find the midsole a little bit firm, they can always stick in like maybe the Torin or another insole that they have, which is a bit more plush. And this can just give a bit more of a bounce, a bit more softness and a bit more cushion. But I think for, there, there really is nothing out there like the King MT2 um, that has all those ingredients of, and even the Stone Guard as well. It's even got a Stone Guard, so it's great protection, great grip. It's really nice and comfortable and responsive. Uh, so you have great ground feel, nice and spacious. So I'm gonna take it back home and I'm gonna show you exactly how the shoe looks after a, I don't know, after a year, year and a half, two years, I'm not exactly sure how long I've had the shoe, but I've put it through its paces and I've smashed it, you know, pretty hard. Um, but it has, there's no wear and tear on it so far. You'll see that in a second. It's just a shame, maybe I'm missing trick. Maybe Ultra have got something secretly, you know, in, the, in their back pocket that they haven't spoke, talked about yet. But as it is right now, this shoe is discontinued. You can't buy it anywhere for love nor money. And it's a real shame because there's also not much else on the market out there like it. Take this home and have a look at the shoe in detail. Okay, so back inside to let you see the Ultra King MT2 in its full glory. And as I said, I have done reviews of the shoe before, but uh, you know, I'm just very surprised that Ultra have decided to discontinue probably in one of my, you know, in my mind, one of their best trail runner shoes. As I said, you know, awesome fiber mega grip here, really grippy. No other out shoe has that. Very durable. You know, this has been tried and tested now, and it's still passing the uh, it's still passing the test of time. There's not one rip or wear or tear. Great lockdown up here. This Velcro thing initially I thought was a bit weird, but actually I quite like it, especially on those downhill descents. Also, just a clever little thing inside here, which you're probably not going to see, but it's got a sort of like a little like a reverse skin, shark skin type thing here, which means like a barb. Push the sock in and it's a little bit tougher to come out. So it keeps the sock nicely pinned down in the shoe. So zero drop, obviously. There is a nice rock plate stone guard in the actual shoe. It's minimal. It's only about sort of 17, 18 mil of the midsole here, ego midsole, but it's on, on wet, slippery, muddy trails or on grass, whatever, it works really, really well. And if you do want to have that sort of extra plushness, extra comfort, you can always switch and put in sort of slightly thicker insoles, which we've all got loads of those lying around. It's not really a review because I've done the review before. It's more of a sort of, I guess, a complaint. You know, it's a bit silly, really, that fact that the one shoe that they've managed to get all the ingredients right, and I really do think they have with this one here. Okay, it could be a little bit more roomier, and some people might find it a bit firm, but there are things you can do with that. And the, to be honest, the width is good because you don't, you do want it stuck to your foot, especially for that sort of technical trails. Um, you know, superior, I love that shoe, but it doesn't have the same lockdown or the same traction or the same protection. Uh, this is their lightweight, grippy, fast runner that uh, for some reason they've stopped making. And I don't know why. Um, as I said earlier, maybe they might have another, you know, something else up their sleeve. Maybe that something else to put into the equation. But as it is right now, I've searched and prowled the whole internet for any other ultra shoe that might be coming out to replace the King MT2. And as it is right now, there's nothing. Shoes that are sort of very similar. Hoka Oni Oni Evo's Jaws has a very similar traction, really amazing grippy traction, but it's just very, very tapered. Um, and then you've got more minimal shoes as well. But this is just a lightweight, fun, easy shoe um, that sort of ticks lots of boxes. 
So Altra, I don't know what you're going to um, replace it with, but uh, yeah, so if anyone knows out there of any other shoe that might be coming to replace the King MT2, and also if anyone knows a shoe that is similar, or that could replicate that, that, is, that does still have the space up front, so I know the Innovates might do that, but they're very tapered for me. So if anyone knows of any shoes out there that are still kind of wide, zero drop, uh, great ground feel, lots of good grip, and an amazing lockdown, which is just a tick, 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 tick. Um, yeah, please let me know. Oh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, so yeah, and also one last thing, sorry, is uh, well done everyone who participated in the London Marathon yesterday. I know that my niece did it. She did brilliantly. She got three hours and 45 minutes, which is excellent. Um, so yeah, whoever did it, well done. Rest up this week, uh, eat lots of good nutritious foods and um, just revel in that uh, glory of doing the race. Right, see you soon, bye.